So this is a short video on how to find the x-intercepts of a quadratic. Now, x-intercepts are also co called roots and zeros. Okay, so I want to find the x-intercepts. So the first thing I want to do is I want to enter in my uh, quadratic. So clear any other previous equations, and you're entered in. So the quadratic I'm going to use here, okay, is y equals 2x squared plus 3x minus 7. That is a quadratic I want to enter in. So put that in. So I have 2, and then the letter x. Now for the squared, there's actually a couple of options. You have the squared button right, to, right with the square root right here. Then you also have the arrow button. So you could do the arrow in 2, which actually says to square it, or if you want to delete those, you can also use the squared button right here and press that and it will also say x squared. Okay, so you have 2x squared plus 3x subtract 7. And you're going to hit graph and you should see your quadratic show up. If it doesn't show up, you might need to play around with the window feature and change your uh, x components and your y components. So my smallest x value possible is minus 10. My largest is positive 10. My y's, the smallest y value I'm allowed on the screen is minus 10. The largest y value is positive 10. If your quadratic doesn't show up, you may need to play around with those values so that it actually fits into the screen. But on this graph, negative 10 and positive 10 on the x's and negative 10 and positive 10 on the y's is big enough for me to see my quadratic. So after I've got in here, I need to calculate the x-intercepts, which are also known as the zeros or roots. So above the trace button, you have calc. That's what I'm going to go into. I have to hit the second button, second feature button to get into that. Second calc. Now again, x-intercepts, roots, zeros. Option two is for zeros. That's what I want to go to. So go down to number two, hit enter. Now it's going to ask you a series of questions. The first question the graphic calculator asks you is left bound. So I need to choose an x-intercept. I have actually two of them. I have one x-intercept here and another one over there. So I want to choose one of these x-intercepts. Maybe I'll choose this one on this side. So I need to scroll to just one side of that x-intercept, the left-hand side of the x-intercept. So I didn't actually have to scroll that far. Scroll to this little star is right just to the left of the x-intercept. Then you hit the enter button and then it's going to ask you to do the same thing again but this time to the right of the x-intercept. So I use the arrows, the left and right arrows to scroll over so you're just on the right of it. Hit enter and then it asks you um, to guess and you're going to hit enter a third time. That will give you that x-intercept which is 1.26 uh, five, five. Um, okay, that gives you that x-intercept right there. Now, if there's another x-intercept, you need to do the same thing. So I'm going to clear. I'm going to go second, calc, zero, same steps again. But now I want to find this x-intercept, and it's asking left bound. So I need to move my little star across using just only the left and right arrows. Move it all the way across till I'm to the left of the x-intercept. So in this case, that means I need to go on the other side. Hit enter. It's asking right bound, so move back so you're on the other side. Hit enter again. Guess. Enter a third time. And it tells you the x-intercept. So that way, I had to find both x-intercepts and you had to do the same steps twice. You have to do left bound, enter, right bound, enter, guess, enter. So a short little video on how to use a drafting calculator to find the x-intercepts also known as the roots and zeros. Thank you very much.